You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days of Our Lives fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your full roster of weekly spoilers for Monday, March 25th, all the way through Friday, March 29th. It is the week of the christening. There is the possibility this secret might come out. We've got Stefan exposed. EJ is worried. There is a lot going on, and I can't wait to unpack it all for you. If you haven't, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. Let's dive right in. Monday, March 25th is season 59, episode 151. And we've got Kristen Demera and Alex Kiriakis scheming. They are cooking up a plan to make Teresa Donovan and Brady Black jealous because they are butthurt that they are neither one with the person that they want. And I'm interested to see this scheme and how it goes. Sarah Horton is still working on Xander Cook, trying to tell him Constantine is a changed man. Maggie tried that this past week. If you've seen the episodes from this week, I think it was Wednesday when Constantine was able to calm down baby Victoria, a.k.a. the second baby blanket in town. We've got Victoria as a blanket, not a real baby, and we've got baby Jude as a blanket. You know, maybe they can just toss them in the dryer together, and that's babysitting. Get a real baby. They could even use the same baby for to play both, but, ah. Uh, all right. <laughs> Just, I digress. It's so, it takes me out of the scene when they have that horrible fake baby crying and then they're just holding a lump like a throw pillow. Uh, anyway, Marlena and Steve are trying to talk John Black down. He wants to go turn himself into the Salem PD. He wants to take the fall alone for Clyde's prison break, at break. And they are trying to just get him to realize he's not the guy he once was and he doesn't need to do this. And Maggie sees Constantine in a new light. He is so busy trying to gold dig and he is working on her hard. And it looks like he's making progress, which is just spectacularly awful. I do feel bad for him if he is completely innocent in Katarina's death. If he is not, as some people suspect he is not, then he's just twice as creepy as he already was. Tuesday, March 26th is episode 152 of the current season. And Wendy and Tripp talk about what's next for them. You know, they just got married in the beer vat right before they died. So if you if you get legally married and then you're both legally dead, does that give you like an instant divorce? Just a, just a question. They seem happy together. So I think we're going to get a real wedding for them at some point. Abe and Paulina talk about the miracles that they've gotten in their lives, his memory back, her cancer or her heart condition, I guess, abated her cancer. They cut out. And Brady confronts Alex about hanging out with Kristen. I wonder if he's jealous or just trying to warn him. And Kristen most creatively manipulates Teresa Donovan into thinking it looks like that there's something going on maybe with Kristen and Alex. And I know she won't like that, especially since Constantine just reminded Teresa that she needs to get out her shovel and get back to gold digging also. Wednesday, March 27th, season 59, episode 153. Marlena and Eric are discuss the fact that Nicole and Sloan have tension between them. Are you supposed to have like a, a ex-wife and current wife best friend club? I think it would be weirder if they were lunching and discussing how he is in bed. I mean, obviously it's going to be tense. You know, Sloan miscarried a baby and then Nicole's baby died and then Sloan adopted a baby and then Nicole stole the baby. And if you don't know what Sloan has done, you know, we all know watching, so we know she's slimy Sloan, but Marlena and Eric don't know that. And I, I don't think you should invite your baby's kidnapper to the christening. And that from Marlena and Eric's perspective is the deal. You got to look at the optics from, from the other side of it. You know, Stephanie and Everett talk about where they are right now. Everett's back out of nowhere. We were supposed to get this Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde thing. And then he crawled under a rock and now he's back. So they're going to start that back up, I guess, now that Paulina's feeling and better and they got room on the front burner tate journals about his feelings for holly and how this whole ordeal has changed him he needs to drop kick that girl so hard she is a bad influence she is nicole jr she is not going to be good for him 
Xander, meanwhile, tries to get Harris Michaels to listen when he protests that he's not the one that shot him. And this makes me so mad because Harris knows it's not him. And he's keeping on with this BS because Harris is trying to protect Ava. Maybe in Harris's mind, protecting Ava and letting Xander take the fall is okay because he somehow thinks Xander is worse than her. It's kind of a coin toss on who has a worse criminal background, Ava versus Xander. I'd have to do some research on that one. And Holly Jonas is finally ready to come clean to her mom about the drugs and the fact that Tate Black is truly innocent. But I don't know if Nicole and EJ are going to listen. We'll see. Thursday, March 28th, episode 154 of the current season and Jude Brady's christening day arrives. And again, are we going to be christening a blanket? A beach towel, you know, a very large washcloth, or are we going to get an actual baby? Holly is making things very difficult for Nicole and EJ Demera on Thursday. Good, because EJ deserves to have things difficult. And Melinda Trask reminds Leo Stark why he needs to zip his mouth at the christening. So I don't know if this is about money or threatening his boyfriend, Dimitri, who's in Supermax now, exactly what leverage it is, but it looks like Melinda gets through to him. And Brady and Roman Brady are there supporting each other in their hour of need. Marlena is working on John Black, trying to get him to forgive himself. And that takes us to Friday, March 29th, season 59, episode 155, which is the second day of the christening and this is when the spoilers say the truth about baby jude could come out so we'll see how it goes that same day sloan leo and melinda make a pact and i'm sure it's something sketchy and i do wonder if this is all part of the plan to get nicole's baby back but without exposing what sloan and melinda did and the knowledge that leo's been sitting on stuff like that because executive producer ken corday did say she's going to find a way to give that baby back in such a way that Nicole and Eric may not find out the truth. Holly comes clean to Eric Brady. Remember, he told her she could talk to him. She is finally going to talk to him. I wonder if she still doesn't get to say what she needs to say to Nicole and EJ because they're just being prats and they've turned their ears off. So I don't know. But once she tells Eric, I think he will make sure things move in the right direction. And Teresa wants answers from Tate on Friday and she wants them right this minute. All right. Those are all of the weekly days of our lives. Spoilers. I'm, I'm looking forward to next week. It sounds like it's going to be really, really really good. Drop your comments on what you're excited to see next week. Please click subscribe if you haven't already and be sure and come back every single day. We are YouTube's most followed soap channel and we are so happy to be here talking days with you seven days a week. Thank you so much for your support. And as always, it's Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.